waterfalls in New Hampshire. Simply splendid travel across America with me. Welcome to the Pinkham Notch Visitor Center, Appalachian Mountain Club, White Mountain National Forest. The parking lot was jam-packed and it was a Friday, but it was one of the first sunny days. But don't worry, we are going to Crystal Cascades. It won't be busy and it's only a 10 minute hike. Everyone else is going all the way to Mount Washington, but not for us. Not today. This is our waterfall trip. I will be taking you to two waterfall stops in the Pinkham Notch near Mount Washington. Quick, semi-easy, and gorgeous. Wait till you see these waterfalls. First stop, the Tuckerman Ravine Trail. We're going to Crystal Cascades. It's only a 10-minute hike. Oh, that's no big deal. We can do that. It's along the Old Jackson Road. And classic road trip. And this sign says, Avalanche Information, Today's Advisory? I don't think so. This is an old photograph of Mount Washington. Okay, the old Jackson Road goes that way, the Tuckerman Ravine this way, and Crystal Cascade, so I guess we'll go this way. Appalachian National Scenic Trail, foot travel welcome. It's awesome to catch the Appalachian National Scenic Trail whenever we can. And have you seen my videos about mushrooms? I love mushrooms. They're so fabulous in New England along the sides of the trails. Whenever I come across mushrooms, the hike takes twice as long as I'm always going off path to take pictures of these photogenic guys. The runoff in this ravine is where the Forest Service gets water for its facilities here at the Pinkham Nudge Visitor Center. The water is coming from snowmelt high upon Mount Washington. Tell a friend about my channel. Respect the ravines. Well, of course we're going to respect the ravines. Oh, isn't this cute? Please subscribe. Thank you. I think we're getting close to Crystal Cascades. The trail takes you across this nice wooden bridge. What a great day. There's a few steps involved, but not too many to reach Crystal Cascades, a waterfall in New York. And look at this butterfly. There were several of them on the stone wall at the overlook for Crystal Cascades. Next stop, we hopped in the car, drove down the road just a mile or two to another parking area that was mainly under construction and the under highway tunnel was closed. So we had to get across the highway and park and then go to see the Glen Ellis Falls. This hike involves quite a few stairs. This is the Ellis River. Its waters begin their downward flow from the eastern slopes of Mount Washington at an elevation of 6,288 feet. Near Glen, New Hampshire, it joins the Saco River, which meanders through Maine to the Atlantic Ocean. So I guess if you dropped a leaf in, it might make it all the way to the Atlantic. Isn't this a gorgeous day? Isn't this just a gorgeous river? About those steps, there's a lot of steps and you know that what goes down must come up. I don't know which is easier, going down or going up. Sometimes I think going up steps is easier than going down. A little bit about our second falls of waterfalls in New Hampshire. Glen Ellis Falls, height 64 feet. Here, the forces of nature provide their own spectacular show. The fall of the water attests to the tremendous power of moving water. From the snow-covered or rain-drenched peaks, the river is born to feed others. In the few seconds this message has held your interest, a minimum of 600 gallons of water have passed this point. At this rate, the daily needs of the city of 25,000 people could be satisfied. Water, indispensable to the needs of man, is one of the resources of the White Mountain National Forest. Leave a comment below. Please subscribe to my channel, Glen Ellis Waterfall.
hiking boots on the ground. Unclassic road trip. <laughs>